Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for November 26, 2018. So my goodness, it looks like the shoppers came out in droves this weekend. Um, lots and lots of shopping going on. According to the news, it was a record-breaking holiday shopping spree that went on over six uh, nearly six and a half billion dollars in just online sales um since black friday and they are expecting believe it or not with today being cyber monday they are expecting um somewhere around another seven billion in sales today so the consumers certainly are showing their confidence in the market and maybe santa claus has arrived we'll have to wait and see now this morning the futures are showing a tremendous gap up and that gap up is giving us, um, well, uh, a lot of energy in the market right now. There's a lot of uh, hype surrounding a gap up like this. Uh, currently, the Dow Jones Industrial Average is expected to gap up over 250 points. So on Black Friday, we had this selling taking us down. This morning, we're rallying right back up. But let's keep in mind, we're rallying right back to resistance. So if you happen to be long, if you were long the market um, on Friday, on Friday's close, consider to this morning a gift. Um, we get a gap up. Um, gaps or gifts consider taking some of those profits off just in case we find some sellers here right at price resistance so kind of keep that in mind that if you're already long congratulations um, take some of those profits if you're not long if you're largely like me and I'm pretty flat in the market right now I didn't want to carry much risk into the weekend um, then I've already missed this 250 point gap up. So I'm not even going to worry about it. Um, I'm not going to chase it. I'm not over, even overly excited about this gap up this morning, other than the fact that it's nice to see a little bit of a relief rally. Um, the reason I'm not really excited about it is I recognize the fact that there are significant levels of price resistance here that the market still has to deal with, that we are still currently in a down trend there's nothing here in this gap up this morning that's really changing anything so although it is nice to see that relief rally i feel no desire to chase this move up this morning get all worked up about it i will wait and see after the market opens if there is actually follow through buying now what do i mean by that when we look at a short term chart let me i'm just going to go to a short term chart here of of the dow and what we want to see is we want to see follow through buyers so for example here's a um, a short move we open up in the morning we open down we push down we rally back and we end up seeing follow through to that selling right here the same thing is true when we catch buyers we want to see those buyers come in and support this rally so we get this big gap up at the open we our price closed here on friday we gap clear up here we want to see if there's um, after that gap up open if there's actually going to be follow through buying so for example we could see a little bit of a sell-off right after the market opens and then if the buyers step in and start pushing that up that's what I'm looking for to see see if those real buyers are actually going to support that price keep in mind any kind of a move like this sets up the possibility for a pop and drop pattern that's um, institutions and, and things like that they engineer this big move up they get everybody to rush in and then they have someone to sell to and they start selling from here and push it back down so be careful of that you don't want to chase into a 250 point gap in the market Let's take a look at the SPY. Oh, by the way, let's keep in mind that this is Cyber Monday and that a lot of traders have likely extended their vacation over Monday. So don't be surprised if the volume kind of drops off quickly this morning. We could see a little bit of choppiness in the market. It may be difficult for stocks to follow through. 
there's a lot of folks trapped in airports around the country with the winter storm that went through uh, the central part of the of the nation um, over the weekend. So kind of keep in mind, there's a lot of folks still trapped in airports, can't get home. So there'll be a little bit less trading going on as a result of that. There's also going to be an awful lot of folks really focused on their Cyber Monday bargains and that will draw attention away from the markets. And then just the fact that a lot of traders probably extended their vacation, um, you know, past, uh, past today, um, just with those kind of things in mind. So um, we could see this gap and then a lot of just choppiness, uh, difficulty for stocks to follow through. So be careful of that. Really stay focused on price action. Now this morning, we got a really nice gap up this morning going on here in the SPY, but let's keep in mind that gap up is moving us right back into these resistance levels okay in the chart so we've got a lot of work to do before this really turns around and makes us believe that there's a, a major bull going on here remember one day does not make a trend and um, if you feel rushed um, if you feel panicked like i've got to hurry up and jump in then you're already putting yourself at a disadvantage remember you should never have to rush to a trade wait for the trades to come to you if we look at the NASDAQ, the NASDAQ um, certainly getting that move up this morning. Nice pop up, gap up this morning. But as you can see, we're gapping right up here. You can see right here at this arrows where the market is indicated to open. We're gapping right into that resistance level right there. So there's a lot of work yet here. We don't want to buy at resistance. We want to be buying at support. So remember that um, if you feel the 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 rush, I guess that is going on, the hype of the morning, and feel that panic of oh my gosh, I'm missing out. Be really really careful of that about chasing in. Let's take a look at IWM. The Russell has held a nice little double double bottom here uh, to this point, and now gapping up. I would say the Russell at the moment is is one of the most likely to show a good pattern here um, in a potential rally you can see holding this support rallying through but we are rallying right into a resistance level and please keep in mind there's nothing about this chart that looks great yet we have that um, that crossover, the 50 crossing down the 200, a lot of, lot of technical damage that needs to recover. So don't, don't just rush in blindly. Make sure you have a plan if you do decide to trade something like that. Let's take a look at the VIX. Hey, by the way, everyone, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, do me a favor. Click that subscribe button on YouTube, the follow me button on Facebook. Click those thumbs up buttons and drop a comment. I really appreciate that. And you guys, I got to just say thank you. You've been doing such a great job with that. You know, Clicking those thumbs up buttons and leaving a comment. I can't even tell you how much that has helped in, in uh, the YouTube algorithm to show these videos to more folks. Remember, I, I make no money from these videos. I intend to make no money of a, from these videos. This is just to help everyone do a better job with their morning planning. So please uh, continue to leave those comments and click that thumbs up button. And it, it truly helps a lot. And thank you for those taking the moment that it takes to do that. Um, let's take a quick look at that VIX. Now the VIX... Clearly, we're still up here in the 20 area. So, you know, holding on to a 20 handle means that we still have some volatility in the market. Actually, significant volatility in the market. But this gap up this morning is going to help us out quite a bit in moving that down. Right here, we have that support level. Um, and that support level, if, if I pull this back, you can see right in there has been a, a, a really good support level to kind of key in on. And it has a secondary major support level right down here. And this support level goes back a long ways. Now, if I were to draw the top of these wicks across here, notice what we've developed here is a nice little 
what they call a price wedge or a descending triangle. And as we bounce around in here, volatility is remaining high just simply because we're up here around a 20 handle. But let's keep in mind that if we start pulling back, and we should get a pullback here today, pulling back down into here, that's a good thing for us to see some of that fear drop out of the market. What's going to be really nice is if we were to drop below this level of support and then start sinking down to this more major level of support and holding in there. It'd be great to see that drop down in here as we head toward the new year. Um, I, I certainly wouldn't suggest that we're going to rally. This market's going to rally right back to the highs. Um, there's just too much technical damage at this point, but it would be nice to see some of that fear get reined in and some of that volatility drop out of the market. Um, at least for those of us that are swing traders rather than uh, day traders who just thrive on this kind of volatility. Let's take a look at T2122. T2122 is a four week new high, new low ratio. And as you can see, we're down here toward that bullish reversal zone. We're not all the way down here at the bottom. We did pull back here on Friday, but we're down here close to this area, which means we'd certainly have plenty of room for an upside move. One of the things I never want to see though, the things I, I hate to see is these big gaps because those big gaps tend to be engineered moves where sellers can come in so for example we had these this big rally up off of a low here um, spike and you see what happens we spiked up big right off of that off of that low area right back down and the after this big move up in the market pushing right back down and you can see these spikes in here where we get that big pop up and then immediate selling comes in. So this morning, we're gonna see probably a pretty sizable spike here in um, T2122. That sets us up for the possibility of those sellers coming right back in to take profits. So as good as it is to see some relief in the selling, we have to be a little bit cautious and careful here, making sure that we actually see some follow through buying. Let's take a quick look at the economic calendar for this morning. Um, economic calendar, not a whole lot on here to really move the market around. You can see we have the Chicago Fed national activity, not, not expected to move the market. The Dallas Fed survey, not expected to move the market. And then we just have a slew of bond announcements and auctions today. So really nothing here to move the market around. We have um, over 40 companies reporting earnings today, however, on the earnings calendar. So we'll want to keep an eye on those earnings reports and keep in mind those um, earnings reports continue to just kind of slide ar around here. We're going to we're going to stay all of this week, probably in the um, upper to low thir uh, 30s, um, right around 40. Um, reports um, every day this week except Thursday where we have just a few more than that reporting so um, just have to keep your eye on those earnings reports make sure you're checking those and don't blindly um, rush into a trade without finding out when that company is going to report so with that everyone hey I want to wish you all a fantastic day there are some great charts out there okay there are some places to be looking in the market but there's also reason to be very, very cautious this morning as we look. Now, some of those places have been like uh, the consumer defensive areas where there's been good buying going on. Some of those places are in like utilities like SO, SO, um, pulling back here, but largely, you know, trending um, in this move. Um, we could see a shift to that today uh, on that today we could see that shift uh, more toward that retail side we'll have to take a retail has not been doing well but we may see some of that shift toward the retail side so just be careful and watch closely um, these charts I don't have a specific chart for you today because of such a big gap um, it would be a little bit irresponsible to uh, point something out that uh, could cause someone to chase so be really careful here watch that price action
position closely. Wait for those real buyers to show up. And remember, there's no reason to ever rush to a trade. Make the trade come to you. So everyone, have an awesome day. I want to wish you all the very best. We'll talk to you all bright and early Tuesday morning. Take care now.